Hi, this is Freedom from Hancock Oshners calling you about your procedure on Monday. All right, so you're gonna arrive here Monday morning at 6.45, nothing to eat or drink after midnight, and then have somebody with you to drive you home. Hi, my name is Frida Ely. I am the um, supervisor for pre-op and PACU here at Hancock Medical Center. I oversee um, approximately 10 staff members, making sure patients come in um, in pre-op, they're ready for surgery, and they go into surgery, and then um, when they come out post-op, when they go on home for discharge, we make sure those needs are met before they leave here. You, you doing okay? If they have any questions about their surgeries, any concerns, I make sure they have what they need before they have surgery. Because by the time you go home, you don't even think about, okay, I need crutches, I need a wheelchair. I make sure all those needs are met. I oh, know, we're gonna take good care of you, okay? We're gonna get you, Dr. Benzene should be finished with that other surgery in a few minutes, and then we'll get you, get your room ready, and we'll get you back there, okay? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. You don't just let patients walk in and walk out. They're not numbers, you know. You gonna watch the Saints game Sunday? Uh, it just I'm, depends. I'll probably be relaxing in here. I'm gonna go to the game Sunday. Play them Falcons. I gotta see them beat them dirty birds up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Brown sugar. Brown sugar, you see that? I have a nickname that the patients call me when they come here. And they call me, my nickname is Brown Sugar. Where did you get that name from? A few years ago, I had a patient came in, his nickname was Sugar. And so I was trying to break the ice with him, have some fun with him. I said, so you're Mr. Sugar? And so he said, yes, ma'am. And I said, well, I'm Brown Sugar. So it just went on from there. I did not know that. Yeah, I'd be in the grocery store sometime, my husband's like, I'm not going to the store with you today. Because when you go to Walmart, they're hollering, Brown Sugar, Brown right. Sugar. My husband's like, Brown Sugar? Something going on, you want to tell right. me? <laughs> A total of 26 years I've been here. And my mom worked here 30 years. She retired from here. She trained a lot of nurses here. And I've always stayed loyal to the hospital, to my community. It's like, it's like a calling to me. This is my daughter, Nicole. Hey, boo, how you doing? She's uh, LPN here up on the family practice floor. Um, she's been hired here about a month ago. Um, she's following her mama's footsteps. You know, it's, it's a generation of caring for people. My mom did it. I did it, she's gonna do it, and we're gonna figure out which grandchild's gonna do it. She's teaching me to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna work here until I'm 70 years old. Somebody said, when are you gonna retire? I'm not gonna retire, I'm gonna refire, you know. I could be in a, in a store now, in Walmart. Somebody said, hey, you know, I remember you saved my life. I remember you did this with my grandchild, you know. I just never wanted to be that nurse that just, oh, I, I, don't, I don't remember them, I remember them. You know, they never remember me. That's just how this community is. You say it's a hospitality state, this is, this is where it starts at. I come out here sometimes and sit, and I have a, my favorite prayer that I do, I do Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Sometimes I just be quiet and appreciate that I am a nurse and that God gave me this gift to do it. It's not my gift, it's His gift, and that I use this gift for his calling, not for mine. Sometimes days get bad. You know, we went through COVID, it gets depressing. I've always tried to be the light. You gotta be the strength when nobody else is the strength. And I think that's a part of nursing, you know. When nobody else can be strong for themselves, you gotta be strong for them. No matter how bad it gets, our intent is to do good by our patients every day when we walk in the door. This is a picture uh, that one of the local New Orleans artists, Terrence Osborne, did for some of the nurses in New Orleans during the COVID pandemic. I look at that and I see that, I see that picture and it says the front line, but you can't have a front line if you don't have a strong team that also pushes you. So that makes me who I am is the team, the team that I work with, you know. And these are some, some awesome women, you know. They endured a lot in the last couple of years and they're just mighty. 